product I'll talk about today is the Raptor, a visible laser, infrared laser, and flood. On my normal camera, this output shows up as a very dim pink. Now if I was dumb enough to look at it with my own eyes, I'd actually see a faint red glow. But with the IR camera, it's obvious that it's actually very powerful. It lights up my entire desk with IR light. Alright, I gotta do it. I gotta stick my hand in the beam to see what happens, because what could possibly go wrong? Oh, wow, I don't feel a thing. Now, I figured it wouldn't be bad, but I was hoping it would hurt at least just a little bit. Even at the focal point, I don't feel the tiniest bit of warmth. I guess my flesh is just super transparent to the shortwave IR wavelength. Now notice that when the beam is going through my hand, it actually lights up all of my veins so they are clearly visible. That is so amazing! Anyway, enough with this technical junk. Let's test this thing out. Can you see me alright? Oh wait, let me turn on my giant laser. Now I built the mask that I'm wearing by fitting laser goggles into a welding helmet. I just want to make sure there is no chance of any stray light making it into my goggles. Now the funny thing is that I can't see this light at all, it's completely invisible to me. The only reason I know it's on is from this indicator light I stuck on it. But that being said, I'm sure it looks like I'm holding a bolt of lightning on the IR camera. That's pretty crazy to me. Now if it weren't for the extreme blinding hazard, this thing would also function as basically the world's best night vision flashlight. This thing has the potential to light up things for miles, but that wouldn't exactly be safe for the